Madam Comrade. Okay. Um, good, good evening, sir. Oh, fantastic. Good evening. Pleasure having you on. Okay. Thank you, sir. Comrade Chudi. Good evening, sir. My chair. Good evening. Well done, sir. Yes, so same to you, too. Well done. The Joint Leadership of the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, and Trade Union Congress, TUC, has suspended the planned indefinite nationwide strike. The labor bodies announced the suspension of the planned strike, which was scheduled for October 3 after a meeting with the representatives of the federal government at the State House. This is as Labour signed a memorandum of understanding with the federal government, which upheld earlier promises made by the government and new deliverables, some of which are to be achieved in 30 days. Joining me to discuss this, is Agnes Fumi Shesi, I hope to be corrected if I'm wrong, the chairperson, NLC Lagos State Council, and Achike Chude, public affairs commentator and deputy chairman, Joint Action Front. Lady and gentlemen, welcome to Plus Politics. This evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, they you. always say, they always say, lady, ladies first, and let's work with that uh, aphorism or dictum this evening. Madam Comrade, there is a general, there is a general perception out there, especially by young netizens that does not seem to be very fair to those of you in labor leadership. They tend to want to believe, many netizens tend to want to believe that labor would always raise the flag of strike, but ultimately get themselves to be settled. What would be your reaction to that perception? Thank you very much. Um, the labor we are answerable to the workers, that is the very, very um, important aspect. We are answerable to uh, the workers that will represent their interest in the first instance. Uh, by extension, we also uh, do some uh, corporate and social responsibility that we take up upon ourselves to also speak in some instances, for Nigerians. So, at all times, when there are issues, you are not expected to get all that you are asking for at one fell swoop. But during negotiation, collective bargaining, once you have used all the instrument of how to negotiate, if you are able to get the grant to be shifted uh, and then um, you get to some reasonable uh, level uh, what could we could term to be um, a subtle uh, 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 things for your members, for our workers, and with this negotiation generally, the one that we just did now, we also, by extension, got some fair deal for Nigerians generally, both in the private sector, public sector, and Nigerians. So, so far we have already fulfilled all righteousness to the workers, and then our conscience is clear that nobody has already settled us, and if there is any proof or any evidence from anybody or from any angle that they have seen us taking any settlement, they should come out to the whole world and come and state it clearly, or else they keep their mouth shut forever. Thank you very much, madam. Let me go to your colleague. Achike, you came a long way. Rich antecedents and pedigree 
in conscientious and human rights matters, but you are also, in one way or the other, connected to the uh, labor movement family. What would be your response to that specific question I asked uh, Madam Comrade earlier? Yes, I, I think when it comes to the primary responsibility of um, the labor movement and the labor leadership, which is uh, the Lagos State Chair hit the nail on the head. That is a, a truth. That is a fact. And that is that uh, labor has its prim the primary responsibility of labor is to its members. It is why it exists. It exists to, for the protection of the interests of the members. You know, and, and so uh, you find a situation where, you know, where, for instance, you talk about uh, maybe manufacturers association. Because if you want to look at, there is a tripartite uh, principle of tripartism, for instance, that has been set up even under the international level you know, organization, the ILO, where you have the government as a partner, you have, uh, you know, uh, um, employers association as a partner, and then the labor leadership again as a partner. And so you find a situation where even at the level of, at the level of the employee, employers union, you know, uh, employers organization also, they also form part of that tripod. tripod. And so you see that, you um, uh, whatever motivates labor, the labor leadership has to be in the interest of its members. And one is not saying that they have, at every particular point in time, they have always adequately articulated the interests of the members. Once in a while, there are failures here and there. But you see, it, we cannot give pretend or have the impression that labor owes its loyalty to the Nigerian people. You know, the, that is a completely different discussion, a completely different uh, perspective. Labor's primary responsibility is to its membership. And, and just like the chair has said, you know, that also flows into other arenas of the political space. Because the labor leadership, for instance, labor is made up of people who are citizens, first and foremost, even before they became workers. They are also citizens of Nigeria. So we can also not pretend that when things go south in this country, when things, you know, get to the level of a serious economic difficulties and people can no longer live meaningful lives, that it does not concern labor. Of course it must concern labor because the labor, you know, people are from the, the, the streets. They are from Nigeria also. And, and so in fighting for their, their members, they end up also, they have secondarily also trying to articulate the interest of the citizens of this country. Now we might not like it, but there's something that some of us are missing. And that is the fact that the reason why we continue to put so much pressure on labor is simply because civil society has not been able to do its work well in terms of defending the freedom of Nigerians. You know? And why am I saying so? Are you now Please indicting you yourself? Please. If I may, if I, Please. that would just yes, be a bit not. I must. Are you, indicting, are you indicting the constituency that you, you quite ostensibly and quite uh, root and branch belong to the civil yes, society? I, I, I must, because that is the truth. You know, and the reality is that there has been a gradual decline in virtually every sector of this country. There has been a decline in the quality and level of political leadership in this country from 1999 till date, even beyond that. So one can easily argue on that premise that the leadership quality of our politicians, for instance, from 1979 to 1999, had declined, you know, astronomically. And so we found that we know that the political leadership in Nigeria misbehaved and did not perform well when it comes to political responsibility. I thought you were speaking to, I, I thought you were speaking to the quality of leadership in the civil society uh, industry. No, 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 Quote I'm going there, I'm going there. What I'm saying is that there has been a decline all round at the level of okay. The, you know, let, let me quickly political elites. Let me quickly give Madam. Of, you see, you let me quickly give level, Madam Comrade the opportunity. Okay. I get back to you. Uh, it's just okay. fair to let the lady also have a good take of this, Madam Comrade. Uh, you are a rarefied species in the labor movement because the labor movement is uh, actually dominated by 
by the men folk. And to see somebody like you, especially representing the chapter in Lagos, which is, I want to believe, apart from the national chapter, which would ordinarily be the most vibrant, is quite edifying to me, quite uplifting for me. But I need to let you know that maybe those of you in the leadership of labor, maybe you, are, you may unwittingly be over-ballooning the, the image of the representation that you can give to the Nigerian populace. Maybe that is why they are conflating and confusing your, the role of labor, which is primarily uh, that of representing the workers to like a voice, especially in the backdrop of Achike uh, Chude's uh, last submission, that to like a voice now representing the disillusioned Nigerian populace when they feel that the, polit the politicals may be failing them and the civil society may be going a wall on them. How would you want to respond to that, madam? That you may have Thank oversold, you oversold uh, the road of labor. Thank you very much. Uh, good governance is the work of every one of us. Um, not only the labor, the youths, the elites, the different groups, uh, civil society groups, every one of us. If we know that we actually you know, wanted a, a good governance from the government, it is the job of everybody. The same way we always say security is the job of everybody. Good governance is the job of everybody. Um, when things, when we, it seems that things are going not, honestly, everybody needs to learn their voice in the country. Everybody, every sector, every organization, every, every. Uh, the the network need to admonish need to applaud need to appraise need to uh, agree or disagree with the way and manner in which the, the the government is being run when there are policies that are anti people's policies then nigerians should be able to also talk but rightly as uh, comrade uh, chudi achike has already said if you don't want to hear the truth, if you don't uh, call Achike because he's always uh, straight to the point and direct to the facts. So um, every, every uh, group, every sector or interest groups, most, mostly this time around, they have actually abdicated their responsibilities. And now everybody is looking up upon NLC to take uh, the leadership and have a clear-cut you know, um, directive to take Nigerians out of many of the issues that we find ourselves. In most of the time, NLC has been providing that leadership that we are bereaved of in the country. During the... Um, the past administration regime, when uh, the former central bank governor, Emefiele, changed the currency, and at the same time, they now hoarded the uh, currency of the country against the wishes of Nigerians. It was not until when Nigerian Labor Congress came out and threatened that we will do this, we will do that, before they now opened the treasury and started releasing the money for Nigerians. Had it been, NLC did not come out. So when there are, you know, um, issues, when there are poor policies, anti-government, anti-purpose policies, when there are, you know, uh, sufferings in the land, and every other thing, people look up onto Nigeria. Hello, Madam Comrades. And they do Hello, hello, can you hear me? We have a limit that we could also do. NSC has a limit and uh, limitations hello, to what we can also do. Hello. Uh, can you, can I, you I really want that? to I, I want to try and end this program with you, but let me quickly uh, get uh, Achike Chude to do about 30 seconds. Achike Chude, is it possible that the 
Nigerian populace, especially the youths, who are the majority of our population, is it possible that there is a generational gulf in the way that neighbor, labor communicates and the way that this generation uh, process information? Because the, the, the gulf seems to be widening whenever issues like this crop up. They will always say labor, like today, they were saying, uh, we are not quite disappointed. We would have been shocked if labor had gone ahead with the strike. I would want to respond to that in 30 no, no, seconds. You, you see, of course, there is no doubt that, that, uh, that a gulf exists. But you see, the point I was trying to make is that we put too much burden on labor. And, you know, we, we expect that they should be the ones to build the car to save the day. That is not the responsibility of labor. If you remember, many years ago, over 25, 30, 30 years ago, the civil society drove the narrative. Labor followed. In the, the days of Ghanifa and me, Beko, uh, you know, the days of the CD, CDHR and all that, they were the ones that drove political discourse and agitations in this country. And labor had no choice than to follow. But over time, the civil society has advocated, advocated its responsibility and given that role to labor. And so tomorrow, it's not as if when labor fails in, in, in whatever responsibility they oh, believe that okay. they have, we tend to blame them. Because okay, they I, know, I know you're a gentleman. I know you're a gentleman. I know, I know you are uh, you are an if or she advocate. So let's give the opportunity of the random to the mother, to, to Madam Comrade, my lady of honor. I want to specifically ask you: Were you privy to the negotiations with the federal government? And if you were privy to the negotiations with the federal government, what specifically? Were the agreements that gladdened you at the end of the negotiations? Uh, thank you very much. Um, all the um, issues that were raised by the labor centers, I think they have been touched. And uh, let me state it categorically, the one that gladdens my heart, at least for this moment, is um, that um, gap, the cash award because that will go at least a, a, a long way to cushion the effect of the uh, subsidy removal. To some people, they can hardly be able to transmit themselves, uh, to transport themselves from their homes to their places of work. And it's be becoming pretty difficult for people, they are living from hand to mouth and from mouth, you know, uh, the, their pocket has been eaten deep by the subsidy. Secondly, um, the CNG that the government promised that uh, very, very soon we are going to start seeing CNG, uh, not only the buses, the, the, there will be CNG stations like we have the PMS uh, okay. stations. Where uh, people uh, okay, will madam. Buy affordable CNG uh, okay, I, I, I think it's about time. I, I think it's about time we start shouting the Aluta. Continua Victoria Asata. Is it Pamberi Natsimurenga? I thank you, lady and gentlemen, for featuring on this program today. We really appreciate you. We want to say a hearty thank you for the invaluable contributions you've made. Thank you. Thank you very much, too. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. And that's it on the show tonight. I am. Bola Hoba. Have a good night.